Southampton defeated Leeds in the Championship Playoff Final, meaning Leeds will spend another season in the second tier. And so I have decided to take over the club myself for the next 10 seasons. And of course, there are going to be some tasks for us to complete while we are here. So let's take a look at the challenge. First off is to get Leeds United back playing in the Champions League. But to do that, we need to get promoted back to the Premier League and hopefully sooner rather than later. Speaking of the Premier League, within 10 seasons, I not only want to win the competition, but I want to have three Premier League titles with Leeds United. And while I'm being really optimistic, three FA Cups as well. I also want to build the team around Archie Gray, who is a current Leeds United player. A phenomenal young talent, just 18 years of age, that I want to develop at the club. So let's get cracking in the summer of my first season at the club. Straight away, this team has already got some Premier League quality players. So season number one, I shouldn't need to add too many new players. Although the temptation is there, as we have £60 million in the budget to spend. However, I resisted the temptation and instead I brought in some lone players, starting off with Evan Ferguson from Brighton, as well as his mate Sarmiento, and that's two players that should excel in the championship. That front four should cause a lot of trouble, but I've even included Libero at the back to pack out that midfield alongside Archie Gray. And those signings with a couple of lone players returning to the club makes us odds-on favourite to win the championship this season. And let's see if we can live up to those expectations in our first season. In January, there was no other transfer business on the ins, but I did sell both Daniel James and Junior Furpo to boost our budget in the summer. And I didn't mind letting them go because we were doing really well. 33 goals from Loney signing Evan Ferguson, and that helped us cross the line as champions of the championship. Won it by three points just ahead of Norwich City, but Leeds United are back in the Premier League. And I don't know why, but we've got less budget this season despite not buying anybody and not spending any money and selling more players. We're going up a division and we have less money to spend. Hey, it's okay. I've got a couple of tricks up my sleeve and a couple of players on my shortlist. Let's see who I bring in season number two. But first, I decided to sell a couple of players I had no intention of using, including Diego Lorente and Jack Harrison. And those players helped bring in three new players, totaling for £57 million in a centre-back Beidou, Pedrola on the wing, and Omega up front. We also brought in Tenyas as a backup goalkeeper for £3 million off of PSG. And my final sign-in before the season began was English left-back Archie Brown from Ghent for £9 million. With us being in the Premier League now, I did change the tactic around a little bit, but we still got a libero on the fend. He's still going to pop into the midfield and help out when he possibly can. But this team does look quite good. Whether it'll be good enough for the Premier League, I don't know. The season preview does put us in 14th place in favour of beating the drop. And there are some teams in there that I think, yeah, we should be beating and should be finishing above in the Premier League this season. But of course, now that we're in the Premier League, we can attempt to achieve our first challenge of this whole time at Leeds United. And that is to qualify for the Champions League. So let's see how we get on in our first season back in the Premier League. However, there was some business to be done in January. And with some trans money left over, I decided to dip into the market again and bring in Adam Karabek, a 22-year-old centre attacker midfielder with fantastic pace and acceleration for just £15 million. He will slot in just in behind the striker right there. That's his favourite position, and I'm thinking he can be a very good acquisition for us. And I was correct as the new sign had improved our side once again in the second half of the season, contributing with six goals and four assists in 17 games. And Karabek had a bigger influence on the team than what I thought because, guys, we finished in the Champions League spots in our first season in the Premier League. Fourth place, 74 points. We finished above the likes of Manchester City, Chelsea and Arsenal. Somehow Tottenham Hotspur won the league. I'm not sure what happened there. But a mega with 24 goals this season in the Premier League Alone is absolutely incredible. The guy did fantastic. What a season we have had so far in the first season in the Premier League. 25 goals from across the season. Pedrola even chipped in with 11. And the transfer budget is nearly £80 million going into season number three. So in just two seasons, we have completed one of our challenges of getting Leeds United back into the Champions League. On top of our already large budget, I sold a few players like Christensen for £26 million. Brendan Harrison also left the club for £11 million. 
and maybe a controversial decision, but I sold Somerville and he's also gone for £41 million after getting 16 assists in the Premier League last season. But don't worry, of course I have a plan. Because I have picked up Noni Madweki, who was transfer listed from Chelsea and I would say is a better player for £15 million less than Somerville. I also signed a backup centre-back in Brasier, who will give us three good options in that one position, as well as picking up Turkish wanna kid Kalik Soy for £21 million to play up front or on the wings from Besiktas. But my last signing is arguably my best and it's for that right back position. It may have cost us £62 million but I have brought in Rico Lewis to play at right back and yes that's expensive but he has the potential to be the best wing back in Europe. This team is looking really good now and we've got a lot of homegrown talents. So let's see how we do in our first season back in the Champions League across season number three. It's another huge fourth place finish in the Premier League, meaning once again we have qualified for that Champions League. We are not having the same luck in the Cups though. Out in the first round that we play in against Brentford in the League Cup and in the FA Cup, an extra time defeat what looks like in a fourth round replay, unfortunately, against West Ham. But we needed a replay to get past Palace in the first place. Which, remember, is something we've got to think about soon with those FA Cups we need to win for the challenge. We can be very proud of how we've done in the Champions League, though, with four wins in the league phase, including a 3-0 win against Bayern Munich. Which meant we went straight into the round of 16, and we also knocked out the German club by Leverkusen 5-2 on aggregate. But that's where we come to an end, because Napoli knocked us out 4-2 on aggregate after we beat them in the first leg 1-0 but they beat us in the second 4-1 but even still that's a great season overall 26 goals from Omega 20 and 14 assists from Pedrola who has really developed into what I would now class as one of the best players in the league Karabek has also had a good season but let's have a look at Archie Gray because 44 games he has now started he has just turned 21 and he is looking absolutely brilliant and the board have given us another the 66 million pound to improve the side for season number four. Season four started with the wonderful news of Archie Gray getting his first England cap. I was willing to sell more players too to keep improving the side with bids being accepted for Stroik and Greenwood. Stroik, however, refused to go. £44 million made in total this season though and to add to our transfer budget. And guys, I think you're going to really like who I decided to bring in. Because for just £44 million, I brought in Samu Omarodion from Atletico Madrid. This beast is a goal machine. To help him score the goals as well, more squad depth in the attacking midfielder roles with Bahoya coming in from Eintracht Frankfurt. Another bargain that we picked up was Chadi Riyad from Barcelona. He only cost me £20 million and he is a very good defender as well. And he's also left-footed. And this team now looks really strong. He doesn't go into the lineup. Neither does Samuel Morodion. However, I'm fully expecting the Beast to manage to push his way into that starting 11. Maybe at the expense of a Mega. But yes, I have changed formation. I've gone with a kind of 4-1-3-2. I'm going really attacking to see what we can do and leave him poor Archie Gray in that midfield to fend for himself. But we've got the likes of Rico Lewis who can pop up into midfield. We've still got the libero who can help out as well. I'm expecting big things this season. So let's see how the new tactic plays out across the season number four at Leeds United. Oh, we were so close to winning our first Premier League. Just three points between us and yet again, Tottenham Hotspur. They seem to cause us a lot of grief this season because they also knocked us out of the FA Cup quarterfinal, beating us 4-2. And that's two challenges that they have stopped us in our tracks this season. Oh, it doesn't count for a challenge, but the other North London club also beat us in the final with the EFL Cup. We are yet to win a domestic trophy outside of the actual championship itself. This would have been a nice one to add to our cabinet. We didn't do as well in the league phase of the Champions League this season, although we had more wins. We only finished in 10th place, but still five wins. There were no big wins that we managed to get over any of the larger clubs. Which meant we went into the knockout playoff round and our knocked out Rens, who of course everybody knows I absolutely despise. And in the round of 16, we knocked out Tottenham Hotspur. We got a little bit of revenge. 8-7 on aggregate. But that's as far as we got because Real Madrid knocked us out of the quarterfinal stage. They went on to the final and actually lost to Chelsea. What is a nice surprise though is Omega still has the top scorer of the league, but Samuel Morodion came into his own. He played 39 games starting and got 25 
five goals. It was ended up being Kalixoy who ended up getting the least amount of goals and he actually started more games than all of them. But I must say our squad is looking quite small now and we've only got £75 million to bring in some players which I have done. We've got a new signing in Mohamed Diamande joining on a free transfer very soon. And hey, if you are enjoying this video and you want to see more, make sure you press that subscribe button. Season 5 and I think we need to improve our left back, so Hoxha joins the club from Genk. And we managed to bring in way more money by selling the previous left back, Archie Brown. He's not the only one we sold either as Karabek leaves the club too for £58 million. But I am very excited about his replacement as Ethan Nguyen-Neri comes in from Arsenal. But I did also bring in a lot more squad depth which, as I mentioned, is definitely needed. Because if we want to win three Premier Leagues and three FA Cups, we are going to need a lot more than just a strong start in 11. And luckily, we are building a great team around Archie Gray. And there are so many good options now. It's hard to pick who I'd want in my start in 11. So let's see if we can pick up a trophy in season number five. Yes, boys, we did it. Premier League champions with Leeds United and as well by six points ahead of Manchester City. Erlen Haller might have got the golden boot, but Samuel Moroni on were there with 19 goals and the highest average rating across the season. Oh wow, and we really had to work for it too because at certain points of the season we were down in like mid-table. We really had to push on. We got there eventually around about Christmas, but even then we dropped down to fourth place. We had to really work for this title. And that's one Premier League trophy out of the three that we need for the challenge. Ah, we're not adding the quarterfinal to that trophy cabinet this season though because Arsenal have knocked us out in the quarterfinal at Ellen Road. 96th minute winner as well. We did ourselves proud in the Champions League league phase though, winning six games including beating Barcelona at home 3-2, but that's as far as we got because the round of 16 into Milan knocked us out on penalties. 25 goals for Samu Omorodion. Kalixoy I even picked up 20 and look how good he is now at 23 years of age. Worth over a hundred million pounds. We've got some quality players in this Leeds United team. Pedrola is also looking fantastic. Nguyen Yeri has definitely increased as well and of course Archie Gray gets better every single season. He's now 23. How many England caps he got? Seven and he's got a goal and he can also play naturally at right back too should we really need him i mean it might be a little bit optimistic but could we possibly see archie gray lift the ballon d'Or? who knows well guys season number six and we've got 73 million pound to spend but i don't know where we're actually gonna spend it well an offer came in for Riyadh that i couldn't turn down from newcastle and that made my mind up I went hunting for the best young centre-back in the world and he just so happened to be English and playing for Manchester City, so I bought him. But I couldn't resist finding another centre-back who I found while looking from Porto, another 20-year-old as well for £45 million. And our squad is stacked now and it needs to be if we want to retain the Premier League title and win some FA Cups. So let's try to do just that then in season number six with Leeds United. It's another Premier League title with Leeds United. Six points clear this time of Manchester United in second place. And that's another Premier League trophy to make it two out of three we need for the challenge. Not only that, but it's a domestic double because we've also gone to Wembley and won the Carabao Cup against Chelsea 2-1. But it seems like every single season we can only reach the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. And yet again, it's Tottenham Hotspur who have knocked us out 4-2. Meaning we've only got four seasons left to win three FA Cups now to complete that challenge. We didn't win the Champions League, but we still put up a really good fight. We won five games in the league phase there. No real big teams that we knocked out. Into the round of 16 though we did knock out AC Milan but it was the quarter final once again but unfortunately penalties was our enemy and it was Real Madrid. And guys Samuel Morodion absolutely cooked this season. 31 goals and 10 assists for the 26 year old striker and he looks immense now. Omega still with 23. I thought he would have been faded out of the club right now but Kalik's always still picking up 15 too. Ethan Yuan Yeri Still developing into a quality player. Look at those physical attributes. Absolutely amazing. But there is one man we are adding to this team next season that we picked up on a free transfer that is going to improve this side. And that man is Nico Williams. Joining on a free transfer from Bilbao. This man is very, very good. 
So can Nico Williams help this Leeds team win its first FA Cup under my control? Somebody who won't be seeing that is Ethan Ampadu, who we finally decide to sell after getting bids for nearly £60 million. And that decision was made easy because my scouts found an incredible defence midfielder in Julio Caceres, who could be a star and had a £10 million release clause at River Plate. But I may have got a bit excited and overspent on another attacking midfield option to give us depth in the engine room, as I spent £75 million million pound on one Miranda. We've started the season really well too and I think this is definitely a good enough team to be lifting a cup as well as retaining that Premier League title. So with season 7 underway we've really got to hope we manage to achieve that for the sake of the challenges. Well guys it's not the FA Cup but we have won the Carabao Cup and that is quite good. We just need to make sure we win the other ones too but a 3-0 win against Manchester United at Wembley has me confident. But guys we've lost out on the Premier League by a point. I can't believe it. We've had the highest average rating again. Samuel Morodion with 20 goals this season and William Gomez has been absolutely fantastic. And somehow Chelsea who've got no players up there other than Kanate and their keeper a little bit further down has managed to pinch the title from us. We only lost three games. We just drew way too many unfortunately. They lost eight in total including against us. That's not good. Ah, it's another exit in the quarterfinal of the Champions League as well. AC Milan, 7-4 on aggregate. We just seem to not be as good as the big boys in Europe, despite us only actually losing one of our games against AC Milan again and winning seven in total. We beat quite a few really good teams there. Uh, we went through the round of 16 and we knocked out Liverpool. So we just can't beat the big boys in Europe yet. We haven't even got to a semi-final. But the most important one for us this season was the FA Cup. And we're in the final against Newcastle. Come on, we need to win this one. Oh, we didn't just win it. We absolutely dominated at Wembley Stadium and scored four goals without conceding to completely humiliate Newcastle United and lift our first FA Cup since I've taken over the club. And that, of course, is a sight that we've been waiting for for a while now. The FA Cup has eluded us for too long, but to complete the challenge, we need to win it two more times in the last three seasons. And I definitely feel like we've got the side to do it, especially with the likes of Samuel Morodion scoring the goals that he is and being as good as he is. 30 goals this season. Look at the squad around him getting double figures or double figures and assists. And even like the players who are getting squad minutes, Kanemoto is coming to the side. Caceres is another one. And and Jose Alves, who we're getting back on loan. He's been on loan at Newcastle, and he's turned into a monster. We need to start using him next season. Alongside an £80 million budget, which again, I'm not even sure we're going to be able to spend because I don't know where we can improve this team in season number eight. I can't believe, though, how close we were to completing our third Premier League trophy for the challenge since I took over that season, though. But I feel like no transfer activity is really needed this summer at all. I feel like on its day, this team is good enough to beat anybody. And, you know, we are so close to winning the Premier League. It just takes one or two seasons and we'll have that challenge completed. It's more of the FA cup but some of these players now are really coming into their own and the likes of Ethan Davis who we've signed recently is becoming one of the world's best center backs and he's only 22 years of age I really feel like we've nailed the tactic too it's just gonna take a couple of seasons and we'll get that Premier League done it's more of the cups that I'm worried about so let's hope season number eight brings back some luck in the form of a domestic double of some sorts well, we definitely couldn't retain the Carabao Cup. We were eliminated from that really early on in just the fourth round. It was also another quarter-final exit in the Champions League to Real Madrid. It just seems like we can never beat the big boys of Europe as again from last season. We did win 1-0 at home, but yeah, overall 4-2 loss on aggregate. The league phase again, we're still finishing in the top eight. We're only losing there again to Real Madrid. We drew two games and we won five against Bayern Munich's quite a good result. In the round of 16, we actually knocked out Napoli, but I just cannot get to the semi-final of the Champions League. Oh dear, whereas last season Chelsea beat us to the title by a point, this time 14 points. They dominated, despite Samuel Morodion walking the golden boot this year with the highest average rate as well, and we had the most clean sheets. Chelsea, with only losing four games, 14 points more than us in the Premier League. We still need one more. Now we've only got two years to do it. Ooh, but it might be a bit of a relief, and this season could be saved with the fact we have a FA Cup final 
But Manchester City are in the way. Can we win our second FA Cup? Because we've got to win three of them in total. And with only two years left, uh, I'm starting to panic a bit. Oh no, what's even worse is we're missing Samuel Marodi on our top scorer. He's injured as well as William Gomez. And a lot of our players who would be in our first team not exactly fully fit. We're going to have to have a makeshift squad right now and just pray for the best in the final. But even with Samu's absence, we started well and Semi Kalikzoy stepped up, scoring a wonderful goal. And I am damn proud of this team that we have built. The squad put on a show and Nico Williams finished off with a lovely team goal. Even still, Manchester City weren't dead yet as Erlen Haaland scored late, but it was too late for Manchester City. And we lift our second FA Cup trophy with one more to go for the challenge. Well, that win proves to me that we're on the right path. We've got a good enough squad that even with our star player Samu not involved, we can still beat the best in the country and win these cup competitions. I'm very proud of this team and that shows in the statistics that they have put up this season. Yuan Yeri with 23 goals and 15 assists when last season it looked like he could be losing his position altogether because of the arrival of the two midfielders, Juan Miranda being one of them. And he's developed into a monster. The £70 million that we spent on him now looks like a bargain after two seasons. £75 million pound I thought was too expensive for him, but I still went for it. It was a release clause. Now it just looks like it was worth it. Caceres has also developed really nicely too, to the point where Archie Gray is kind of playing a right-back role. And I'm enjoying playing Archie Gray as a right-back, which is weird. It's just working. Now we've got £117 million pound left. We've got two years to try and achieve a Premier League and an FA Cup to complete our challenges. I feel like the only weakness we currently possess is the centre-back depth, so I signed Branka Dory for that position. It's also finally time to sell Omega. He hasn't been playing many games now, and a £64 million pound bid is just way too good to refuse. And to be fair, we loaned out Kanemoto to Arsenal last season, who's a striker that can fill in his position in the striker rotation role and gives us a different option. Beidou also left the club now. He's gone to Barcelona, just didn't want to renew his contract. He's 28. I was kind of all right with letting him go, really. It was no big loss. We've brought in another defender, and our squad depth is kind of at the level that I was hoping it to be. Not to mention, we've got another defender that's out on loan that we could recall if we want to, if we start to struggle. But hey, right now, he's going to have some game time at Bournemouth to develop into a better player and yet yeah, this squad I'm hoping can bring us a Premier League title. So let's get season number nine underway and see what our Leeds United team can do. It's another early exit in the Carabao Cup quarter final and it's Chelsea once again who are causing us a lot of problems. It's an even earlier exit in the Champions League and it seems like our away form just never really represents us in Europe because our home form was always quite good. We always seem to be knocked out on aggregate despite winning the home leg. We're out in the round of 16 to Liverpool this time round. In the league phase, yet again, we've done ourselves proud, only losing to Barcelona, drawing to Lyon, winning six games, including Real Madrid, who I feel like we've never been, be been able to beat, so that's a big positive. But get in, we've won our third Premier League title, and in season number nine, we've managed to complete the three Premier League challenge with authority too. 13 points clear of Manchester City. That's what Chelsea did to us last season. Once again, Samuel Rodion managed to get 27 goals. Erling Haaland got 35, but it doesn't matter. He's not lifting the Premier League title. Samu is instead. And as mentioned, that is the third Premier League trophy we have won at Leeds United, and it's a challenge completed. And guys, we have the opportunity to complete the FA Cup challenge as well in the same season as we've got to the final, this time against Manchester United. Well, we couldn't ask for a better start because Kanemoto fires in the opening goal at Wembley after just five minutes. And it gets even better because before before half time, we double our lead thanks to Ethan Nuanieri's goal. But Manchester United on the attack, and oh my god, what a goal from centre back Ashley Phillips. However, it's another FA Cup final win for this incredible Leeds United side. 
And of course, that's the third FA Cup we've won in three years too, and it's the FA Cup Challenge Complete also. Which means going into season number 10, there's only one thing that we really have to do now. Could we possibly win a Champions League trophy in our 10th and final season? I mean, we've definitely got the team to do it, we just don't really receive the luck that we do in the Premier League in European competitions. I feel like this team is just stupidly strong. 27 goals, my second top scorer. Kanamoto is unbelievable. That guy has definitely earned his position back in the side after a fairly decent loan deal. But yeah, again, I've got £111 million this summer. I'm not really sure how we're going to increase our chances. I've already got one guy coming in. It's just good squad depth on a free transfer. Not sure where else we're going to bring anybody in. The only player I did pick up was a Turkish midfielder who was quite versatile from Bayern Munich for £73 million. We also kept hold of all of our players just selling a youth academy prospect which didn't really matter too much to me and I feel like this team is very much capable of winning the Champions League. It's just whether we have the right draw and the right luck to do so. But hey, you can get the save game, follow this, page.com forward slash Gaming, or join the channel membership. You can get that access as soon as this video drops. So let's see how we do in this 10th and final season as the manager of Leeds United. Well, first off, it feels like forever since we've won the Carabao Cup. And yet again, we've lost in the quarterfinal. And yet again, it's Chelsea who's cost us. They couldn't stop us from lifting our fourth FA Cup, though, in a row, might I add. 4-0 against Sunderland. This wasn't even a contest. They only had four shots and none of them were on target. Chelsea also couldn't stop us from lifting another Premier League title as that makes it four Premier Leagues, I believe, in the last five years defeating Chelsea who are second place by three points. So that has been an outstanding accomplishment. They did manage to scare us a little bit there. So it was actually four in six seasons. But hey, we come back and we show that we're the best in the country. But are we the best in Europe? Chelsea won last season's Champions League. We actually finished second in the league phase, only losing to Nice. And look at the teams we beat. No, destroyed. 3-0 against Ajax, 7-0 against Benfica, 3-1 against PSG. That put us into the round of 16, but that's as far as we got. Because the European champions, Chelsea, who also knocked us out of the Carabao Cup, eliminated us from the round of 16 of the Champions League 4-1. They went on to the quarterfinal and knocked out Juventus. They went to the semi-final and lost to Man City. And now the final is to be played between Real Madrid and Man City. So no, we cannot win the Champions League in our final year. But I found this quite interesting that Samuel Morodion scored 26 goals across the season despite being out since the 28th of February where we lost to Chelsea in that Champions League fixture. One of the legs there. So that has been a loss for us and yet we've still managed to go on and win the FA Cup and still won the Premier League ahead of Chelsea. This team is absolutely exceptional. Some of the players that we have got here, absolutely phenomenal. So again, if you want to take over the save game file, I'm going to give you the challenge of winning a Champions League with my Leeds team that I have built here. You've got another £58 million, but this team, I don't think you really need it. You just need a bit of luck. The save game file can be found on page.com forward slash Gaming or on the channel memberships. And why not check out this video right on screen now for you because I take over Barcelona after Xavi left with the ultimate goal of clearing the debts and winning the treble.